नमस्कार टू एवरी वन टूडे विल डिस्कस ऑन स्क्वायर एंड स्क्वायर रूट दिस इज गिवेन इन एन सी आर टी टेक्सट बुक क्लास एट चैप्टर सिक्स एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर कंपटिशन कंपिटेटिव टाइप क्वेश्चन सम हाउ इट इज इजी बट हाउ टू नो द प्रोपर्टीज you must have to learn so let's uh, we'll start with the introduction just think for area of any rectangle we know that area of rectangle equals to l into b length into breadth Look here. We have one rectangle. If the length is five, length is ten, and breadth is five centimeter. So what about the area? Area equals to ten centimeter into five centimeter. So ten five is a fifty fifty centimeter square. Now look for area of any square. Square that means if length and breadth both are equal. If this is five and this is also five, then what about area? Five centimeter into five centimeter equals to twenty-five centimeter square. Here we are using five into five. Five multiplied with five. If any number multiplied with the same, that is called square of the number. Because it is representing the area of square. Five into five. So that is square of that number. So anyhow, uh, just here I am writing some side side of a square. Now easily you can find the area. If side is one without unit, only one, then what will be here? One into one. Answer is one. If side is two, either meter or centimeter. Two into two. Four, three, then three into three, nine. So in same way we can find the square of any number. Now through this we will try to find the properties by getting many squares. So first. Here I am writing the square of one as one square one. Just look here two square four, three square nine, four square sixteen, five square twenty five, six square six into six thirty six, seven square seven into seven forty nine, eight square sixty four, nine square. 81, 10 square, 100. In same way, we can find for 11, 12, and many more. Now, just observe the square numbers, square of one, and observe also the digit which is at one's place, unit. Look here, unit digits at one's place, nine means. The squares end with these digits only. So look the digits which is at one's place. We have one. Just uh, write here one, four, nine, six, five. Six is already here. Nine, four. One zero. So 
based on this we can decide which number can be a perfect square and which number cannot be a perfect square if a number ends with 1 4 9 6 5 or 0 it can be perfect square and if the number ends with 2 3 7 8 it cannot be the perfect square because we are not getting any word 2 3 7 8 so this can be used as one of the property of a square a perfect square always ends with 0 1 4 5 6 or 9 So in properties you can consider as one a perfect square is always end with Z. a perfect square is always end with and that means the digit at one's place end with the digit 0, 1, then 4, 5, 6, 9 or a parent or 9. This is one of the property. Now again if you write the squares in different manner you will get another property and then we will look on that. Look here, one square is one. Again I am writing the same. Two square is four. Three square is nine. Four square, sixteen. Five square, twenty-five. Now just look the difference. From one to two square difference is three. Next difference 5, next difference 7, next 9, 3, the first square is 1, then plus 3, plus 5, plus 7, plus 9. It means square of a number is the sum of odd numbers starting from 1. So, this 5 square can be written as 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. Odd numbers starting from 1 up to 9. Up to 9 how many odd numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 square equals to sum of 5 odd numbers. In the same manner, we can write 9 square equals to what? 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus up to how many numbers? 9 numbers. 9 odd numbers we need. 1, 2, 3. So, which will be the 9th odd number? It is 17. 9th odd number. So, this is one of the property. Second property we can write any perfect square is the sum of continuous odd numbers starting from 1. 5 square equals to sum of first 5 odd numbers. So, n square will be sum of first n odd numbers. Square number K 
can be written as the sum of odd numbers starting from one. Example you can write here n square equals to 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus n terms. So after observing the square of numbers, you can find some more properties. Just we will discuss one more property. If you are going to find 15 square, that is 15 into 15. As answer is 2, 2, 5. But as per the property, we have to look for these two digits, 1 and 5. What is the square of 5? 25. And this number is 1. So it can be 1 into the next thing. Is it 2? 1 into 2, 100 plus 25, 5 square. Same way we can write for any number which ends with 5. This is one of the example. Now look for another example. 35 square. Same way. What is the digit here? 3. So 3 into next number. 100 plus 25. 3 4 is 12, 1225. This is the square of 35. The same thing we can try with last number also. This is 35. Now here I am writing 85 square. 8 into next number. 100 plus 20. So this is also another property. So what you will do after finding all the squares and studying all this, try to make some patterns and based on patterns, try to make some different properties not only this much so here just I am adding the third property any number which ends with 5 for that it is a property if uh, a number is n 5 it is not n into 5 at once place 5 and at tens place n the square of n 5 equals to n into n plus 1 the next number 100 times 100 plus 25 And it is applicable for last number also if we are writing 125 square. So this is 5 and here 12. 12 into 13 hundreds plus 25. Okay, now you also search some more properties. One more property I am going to discuss.
Just here, I am writing the natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and many more. Okay. Now just uh, mark the squares. This is one square and two squares. One square and two squares. How many numbers are in between these two? Two numbers. Now this is 2 square and this one is 3 square. This 2 square and 3 square. Now look here how many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4. Here 4. Next, between 3 square and 4 square. Between 3 square and 4 square. How many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, clearly next will be, what next will be, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. So, in this way also we can find the property and in this property, here the numbers between the consecutive squares is double of the smallest number in every case. Between 1 square and 2 square, equals to 2 into 1. This is the smallest number. Between 2 square and 3 square, 2 into 2. Between 3 square and 4 square, 2 into 3. So there are 2 n numbers between 2 consecutive squares of n and n plus 1. So, in that basis, how many numbers can be possible? You just tell in between 8 square and 9 square. How many non square numbers are there? How many natural numbers are in between 8 square and 9 square? Yes, it will be 2 into 8, means 16 numbers. So, the properties we have. 2n natural numbers in between 